All right. I don't know how to start this, so I'm going to have Tim just start saying things, and we're going to put it over my, my lip flaps. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Copix, and I like anime v videos. You know what? I make video anime. Can do. Let's great do this, guys. Hooray. Yes, let's do <laughs> thing, Copix. I agree. Anime, great. No. <laughs> Just, just Tim. Hi, everybody. Welcome to part three of Ranking Anime. It's been over a year since the last time we recorded this, and you guys wouldn't know that, but you kind of would, considering I haven't uploaded it like forever. So hopefully, we'll get through some more uh, popular for right now because they just came out shows like Edge Runners and shows with really long names. Oh, we love those. Mm, mm, quality. Quality. To to jump right in, when I think of shows with long names that are that that are quality, I think of Full Dive, this ultimate next gen VR MMO RPG is even shit than real life. That's right. That's what it's called, and I watched it because of that name. I you have to. That there's it just you have to, and after watching this show, it's it's like if, oh, uh, what's that? What's that one game? Um, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. If that was if that was a VR, MMORPG. That's that's this game, I guess. <laughs> nice. So, uh, it's it's worth a watch just for the name. There's. A season two that's supposed to be out. I don't think it's out yet as of this recording. Um, but I think that I'm going to have to give it a... Uh, it's either a B or a C tier. Based on the shows that are in B tier, I'm going to give it a C. Have either of you seen it? What's it called? Nope. Full Dive. I've this seen ultimate it uh, on my recommendation VR, list. MMO, RPG. It's even shittier than real life but I have not seen it, but I've seen the recommendations for it. Don't really have an interest to watch it. Well, that's that's fun to, to lead off of. Speaking of things that you don't want to see, it's The Promised Neverland. <laughs> season 2. Season 2. Season 1 was amazing. Oh. Season 1 was absolutely wonderful. It was... It was... It was surprisingly good. Like, it, whenever you see a show, it doesn't matter what the show is, it's... But when it has a whole bunch of, like, child main characters, for some reason, I just think that it's not going to be all that good. And then this show blew me away. And I haven't seen season two because of how bad people say it is. So I can't rank season two. Heard it was awful. But that's just what I've heard that's that's hearsay. That's, that's not actual evidence that I, that I have. But for season one... I think that it deserves probably an A tier. I have seen season two, and with season two, probably specifically just season two would probably be C, D, or F. Season one would <laughs> wow. definitely, definitely be an A. Mm -hmm. It so is fantastic. So overall, what would the show be? Well, we're we're not doing over because I can't judge season two, and they're that's fair. It would be like yeah. Sao, like you'd have to break it up. <laughs> they're just so well, wildly yeah. different. <laughs> like overall, it's you'd probably say what? What would you say if you if you mushed them all together and averaged them out? What would you say, Tim? O overall, I'd probably give it a B because I I like season one a lot and season two adds more to it but it just it doesn't have the same thrill as season one had so kind of like uh devil is a part-timer yeah yeah season that. two's out for that I can see. now yeah season... I, I just finished it last week and uh i mean it, it wasn't as good as season devil one. is a part-timer didn't need a season two it didn't no, but we got it i anyway. mean it's coming out, it, but we're getting a season two and a season three so that's cool i know so Speaking be of shows that had an amazing first season, but a really bad second season, we're going to deal with K. K. K, I <clears> watched. 
and it i just love the colors of the animation is is amazing and the story is great it it throws you into this world without explaining it which is really hard to get away with and they did it amazingly a whole bunch of other shows and movies like from hollywood even have tried to do that sort of thing and they fail at it or they do kind of okay with it but this was amazing season one was absolutely wonderful i'd give season one probably an a tier like just barely just over the hump of b i'd give it an a tier uh, but season two was like season two wasn't bad, but you know, I think you should watch it. Cause if you want to know the backstory, if you ever want to know the backstory, it'll tell you the backstory. It lets you know what, you know, certain things are what I, I don't even remember the names of things. It's, it's been so long since I've watched it. I think it was 2019 when I watched it for the first time. So I think that overall I'm going to give it a B tier. Yeah, yeah right. it, it was great. I agree that season one has a great story as the one probably watched it the most recent. Uh, just, I I honestly quote this all the time with Caleb. We have a ongoing quote about the robots. Uh, what's the line? <laughs> I don't even remember the head. line. It left my head. <laughs> You're uh, too kind. Help. You're too kind. And you think the, the see the the funny thing is that you used to say that all the time, and I don't know if you forgot what it was from or not. But like you'd say it all the time, and then I know it'd be from. But then like other friends, you'd, they'd just be like, yeah. I, I definitely do that with a lot of quotes, where I get them subconsciously in my vernacular, and then immediately forget what they're from. Seems legit. Seems legit. Uh, but that that is the greatness of probably the season one. And then it took me probably three years to watch season two. And it was just, oh, okay. Eh, probably really liked it too. All the It was beautiful. Did, it took you three years to watch the full season or there was a break and then you watched it? There was a break in between one and two. Mm, fun. I'm trying to find a way to segue that information, and I don't know how. <laughs> I love really you know, that you, you start off with two shows or two or three shows that I haven't seen, and I'm just like trying to. I want to give input, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I haven't seen these shows. Speaking All right. of things, John All right. has seen. Since... Speaking of things I haven't seen. Speaking of, well, I'm I'm trying to think of something that Tim hasn't seen, but that's. That's Listen, hard to figure. I've seen everything. I'm gonna see a lot. So Tim is I, like, I'm gonna go with. Uh, anime guru. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go on a, a wild a wild uh, assumption that Tim hasn't seen okay. this because I I watched this with Joel. Oh. What? Oh, I know what you're. Going. But we're gonna go with <laughs> K on. So K on. that you tried to watch with me. <laughs> Did I try to watch it with you? I could not remember. I thought, yeah, I was gonna say, yes. Kaon was not. It was the one me. That I oh, I, I thought that was Joel. Uh, I just think it was uh, me. Okay, I know. Okay, wait, I that was wrong. I was has. wrong. I was wrong. What? Wait, uh, rewind. Stuff that he one hasn't next, seen. Um, the two next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nope, the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing is that we haven't actually seen that all the way through. I know, but I want you know that's one I don't think he's seen. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't work because th these are uh, both picking... ones that because I I want to kind of stay away from the ones I haven't seen because there are You're a couple on here you. that I I haven't seen but I tried to and it was it was a nightmare. There's one in the middle on the second row that I don't think he's seen. Uh, oh, yeah, well, there, there's a couple one. that he hasn't seen, but I don't know if you've seen it. Who me? Yeah. Which one are you thinking of? I don't know. You you tell me. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I tell tell oh, me in guess. secret? Is it Helsing? What, what is it? What I is haven't it? seen Helsing. What, I was what, gonna what, say what I was gonna say Helsing, but I haven't seen the show. I've just seen the uh, abridged. Although I started it, so. But I, I, all right. I, I have yeah, we can. All right, uh, a totally original. My my brain. My brain power is uh, big brain. Big just brain thought of really Helsing. Good. Now now wow, I have two here. Fun. I've got Helsing and I've got Helsing Ultimate. I watched both back to back. Uh, original Helsing is a lot like, actually, the Helsing series is a whole lot like 
Full Metal Alchemist, where they made it uh, the first making of the show. The uh, the manga hadn't finished, so the anime producers had to come up with something, and it kind of ended weird. And also, the writing is, like, extra bad in this one. And the thing is with Helsing that you don't watch it for the plot, really. Like, unless you're, like, for, for my viewers, for 90% of my viewers who are 14-year-old girls, you might actually like it. It's really bloody, though, which is the real reason why you watch it is for all the, the blood and gore, uh, if that's your thing, which is now my thing for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, why has that become our... I've noticed that, too, in my genre. Is I've gotten into more of the bloody anime recently. I'm like, I don't know what happened. It's, it's more about the fighting, it is. And, like, it's shorter than DBZ, and then Kai, and then Super. Which I'm I'm thinking about watching, actually. But uh, that's really why you watch it. But it's also, it's like, it's a lot like Twilight, the anime. I know I said that about um, uh, Vampire Night, which is probably more accurate, because at least Helsing was cool with, with the bloodiness. So I guess... Maybe maybe it's more like Vampire Diaries. I don't know. I'm I'm really going out of Supernatural. It's like kind of sort of like Supernatural. It is like Supernatural, kind of, almost, sort of. Kind of, almost, except um, without the two cool. It's dudes. not the two brothers, but you know, it's it's Helsing, Perfect. who's super cool. So, uh, I'm giving the original Helsing. I'm gonna give it a C tier. It started off really well, just like Full Metal Alchemist it started off really well. And then you should switch over to Ultimate, which was so much more fleshed out. It's actually considered an OVA, and there are hour-long episodes produced by Universal Studios. And, oh, really? I did not know that. Yeah. And, uh, That's cool. It's re and it's really cool because I, I just remember everything being produced by Universal as a kid, so it just gives me a little nostalgia bubbles. Yeah. In my brain, boobs, and Boobles. I, uh, you see, it was it was pretty good, it was pretty good. Again, the story was lacking, but that's really not the point of the show. Is is not to have a good story. It's to get you to the next point where uh, Alucard can be vicious and rip people up. Uh, but it's also been ruined for me now, where all I can do is quote the Abridged series, which is honestly a better version of the show. Really like, some is. Abridged series are really good, you know, and they're, they're parodies, and it's great. But some of them are just a legit better version of the show, like Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, and Helsing Abridged, and may e mayhaps even... SAO abridged. So mm -hmm. I some give some aspects, yes. Yeah. Some, some aspects. aspects some, yeah. some, some aspects. Uh so I give Helsing Ultimate probably stop it. A B tier. That seems fair. I give it about what a B tier. B? As someone who hasn't seen the shows, I mean I've seen clips from like the first few episodes and try to get into it. Uh but have watched the abridged series thanks to some friends out in Wyoming. Uh the abridged shows is probably what I always say. Sao is my favorite, but honestly, it's probably Helsing because Helsing is really funny, and it just it's just the better version of the show. It seems to be, and it's got more quotable quotes, and it's just funnier. The original smash just... like and leave a comment if you think we should do a abridged series tier list. <laughs> There's a lot of abridged series. Well, yeah. all the ones we've seen. I've seen f six. I've seen. Uh, well, there there are a few that have really. I I saw. I've I've seen fifty percent off. Sao yeah. abridged. Helsing. Yeah. yeah. I've seen like three different Attack on Titan abridged series, yeah. and then I saw a little bit of two different Demon Slayer abridged series. Oh, and then there's Devil's a Part Timer abridged. Yu Gi Oh abridged. Already said that, I think. Uh, there's there's also didn't. Dragon yeah, there's Ball that. abridged. I haven't actually seen Dragon Ball. I should I should probably do that. Um, um, it was also very very long. 
I've seen yes. a little bit of Black Butler abridged. I saw a little bit of a Black Butler abridged that I helped write the second episode for and was cast in, but then it got deleted off of YouTube because the creator is a bit of a spaz. Uh, speaking of spazzes... <laughs> Um, what, a, what a way to <laughs> switch gears. Wait, no, no, to get get rid of ads. Uh, speaking Ooh, of spaz, right. uh, I'm going to go with Soul Eater. Oh. And when I say spaz, <laughs> I mean everybody's a little bit of a spaz in that show. But there's one in particular, and that would be Black Star. <laughs> uh, I just started watching this again with one of my roommates, and oh boy, this show is just something special. The the one thing I don't like about it is how everybody has like their one line. Soul keeps saying he's such a cool guy and works cool into everything. Uh Blackstar talks about how he's a big man. And um uh get the kid with symmetry and then Sid the zombie teacher who's like that's not the kind of man. I, that just isn't the kind of man. I it's was. Frankenstein. And then there's Frankenstein. Oh, he's such a good character. I love him so much. Um, Dr. He's on Stein. He's Bando tier list. He's great. Yes, yes. Um, the show's amazing, though. It Like, if you can get past that, which is a little bit annoying, um, I got to give the show... Ooh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hung up between A and B. Personally, so, B. Personally, yeah. B. See, I'm with Kale between A and B, but it fluctuates every time I watch it or go back and review it because I'll think about it and be like, oh, but it was such a good show. It's definitely an A. Then I'll think about the parts I don't like. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I kind of dragged yeah. it back, So I think I got to give it a B tier. Yeah, I give it a, based it's like a high on, B, though. It's like a B plus. Based on the shows that are in A tier and the shows that are in B tier, I got to give it. I think I'm going to give it a B tier. I agree. Ken. I, th I think that this show is probably on my list of things that need redone because of just how, like you said, it's very, very specific and they keep doing catchphrases. And I feel like it has such a great story to tell, but are held back by all those little quirks that keep popping up. It's the, it's the quirks that make them unique, but it's the quirks that make me hate them. And you've never yeah. said anything about Excalibur, and I'm very sad about it. Well, of course. Well, you got to leave a little bit of something. See, He's when best. I, this show... Excalibur! This show, I feel like, could have been split up into, like, a two-part show, because half of it, there's story, and it's so good. Like, the story's so good, and I love it. And then the other half is, like, filler and comedy... Like so you get like two or three episodes in a row where it's just filler and comedy, and then you get two or three episodes where it's like story. So I feel like they should have separated into like a two part thing. I don't know. I don't know. It, both were good, but together it was weird. I gotta show you this. Can you hear it? Yes. Excalibur, oh, fire. Excalibur, this is in my head all the time. Yeah. Never said who. I know. I will say Soul Eater Ooh. does have some fire openings. Mm -hmm. Smash like and subscribe oh. if you want to see an openings tier list. That we could probably do. There's a lot of openings. I There's love. so many. <laughs> so openings. many. <laughs> there are an obnoxious amount. Or we could do like a react to a top 100. It would be. Well, no, it'd though. be hard no. because. Uh, copyright um yeah true making a podcast mm. or something but it's mm -hmm. not copyright you know a lot of uh shows are really uh protected about by copyright japan really really cares about their their ips speaking of protected i don't know i, I have no idea where i was gonna go with this <laughs> um, this character's always protected by yeah that, that's all of them that's the problem <laughs> Um, you say that I was too thinking with your of, uh, anime. Uh, the, um, shoot. What's the name of that one? The one with uh, Arthur and all of them that are fighting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be Fate I'm looking Zero. at the picture. Yes, yeah, Fate yeah. Zero. Um, 
Fate Zero, sure. Why, sure, why not? I don't know, oh, I guess. Was it uh, uh, the Fate series? That's dangerous. So <laughs> I, I haven't seen all of the Fate series. I've, I, I've only seen Fate Zero. It was the second anime I've ever seen, maybe? I think it was the second. It might have been like the third or fourth, but I think it was the second after SAO. And... I liked it. It was totally different from what I was used to. Well, not really, because I started with SAO, which was more fantasy, and this was also fantasy, but this one just, like, didn't hold back on the blood, and I was just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and uh, and it, it was good. I really liked it. I get that it, it's a little bit boring, especially the couple first episodes to set up everything, but I actually kind of liked it. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna hold off before giving it a ranking. Uh, does anyone else want to jump in? I hated the whiny little boy that was pretty much the main character. <laughs> with the oh, yeah. Guy. It was the... Other than him, I really liked it. Was it, was it the guy who... Be a man! But, but was he the guy who... Uh, tricked some random old people that they were his grandparents in the very beginning of the show? Yes. Yes, he did. That's what I thought. Yeah, that guy. Yep. Yep. Um, I haven't seen any of the Fate series because every time I try to go sit down to watch it and I hit Fate, there's like six different Fates, as you all know. Uh, so I just go, no, nah, never mind. Just kidding. I will get into it one of these days. It's just... It's I have to watch the guy's videos on how to watch the Fate series so I can watch it in correct order. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was told just to watch the Fate series. And this was when there was only, I think, three shows out. Uh, and they were just like, just watch Fate Zero. Fate Zero's the good one. Yeah, I think you're supposed to watch Fate Zero, and it's like Fate, Blade, something, whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. It's like fate Stay Blades. Night, and then Fate Grand Order, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, there's just I don't a know. lot of fakes. Leave fakes. a comment. What order Joel should watch it in? Yeah, tell me what myself. order I should watch the Fate series in, and maybe I'll start watching it. All right, Tim, what, what, what ranking would you give this show? I remember enjoying it, but also, like, I hated it. <laughs> like, honestly, personally, I'd probably give it a C because of I didn't. Wow! It didn't mm. do much, mm. in my opinion, because it mm. set up for the rest of the series. But it's on the same level that, feel like as nothing Gun happened. Gale and uh, Madoka Magica. It, uh, personally, yes. But wow, I didn't, I didn't the... like it. I did not like it personally. Making the fake but fans that being mad. said, I think you could put it at a B. I just didn't like it. That's me personally. Nah, I can't controversial, Tim. I want to see a war break out. Yeah. You're your first be folks. Take F tier, F tier, <laughs> F tier. Uh, uh, it wasn't that bad. No. Uh, I remember watching this and going, wow, that was a good show. Just definitely not as good as SAO. Uh, so I I would give it a B tier. It was good. It'd be probably a high B, but still a B. Whatever you want to put it at, because I, I, I blocked it out of my memory a good bit, too. <laughs> It's it's not important or good in me. Now, my speaking mind. of other shows that are really bloody that I was not expecting to be bloody, which, I, to be fair, it wasn't really that bloody. It was just one character that was really freaky, which is also true of this show. Junie Tyson, which oh, I yeah. watched with both of these guys Oh, that's right. last that's that, Christmas. That's that weird show. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, uh. I forgot about that show. I blocked that in out the my memory Rapcharo. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I just remember that the opening goes Rapcharo a whole Rapcharo. bunch of times. Um, this is directed show, by the one and only, the English dub, ADR directed by Vic Mignogna, who you will Ooh. know is in a lot of things. Uh, Tomiki from Oran High School Host Club, Edward Elric from FMA. He's uh, oh, in a lot year. of stuff. Um, he's amazing. I love him so much. And we all love him. We love him. Uh, we so him being such a lovable guy, I expected Junie Tyson to be some sort of like a slice of life 
type thing. No, this is bloody as heck. This is this is this is horrifying, and it was really well made. There's the one bunny character who scares the crap out of me. It's it was uh, ugh, very bloody, and it's all about winning the Juni type, just like it. Uh, uh, Fate Zero trying to find the Holy Grail. This is the Juni Tyson trying to win for the family. The last man who survives is the winner of the Juni Tyson for the next 13 years. And then they have to fight again. Or maybe it's 16 years. And then they get a wish. A wish of anything. Yeah. Literally anything. And then the main character, I hope, I don't want to spoil what, what who the main I character is. I don't what spoil they that. Yeah, Who's probably the should. main character? There's multiple main characters. <laughs> No, it doesn't probably also matter. Sort of I mean, who there the are, but, is, but that's there's also a, part of the plot. There's there's a main character. We all we all know, but yeah. I didn't I didn't let anything out of the bag. Almost did, but I didn't yet. So Junie Tyson, that surprised me, and it it's really similar to Fate Zero. So I'm gonna give it a ranking that is the same. Mm, interesting, I mean, interesting. I liked interesting. it. I liked it better than a, a B. I I think it all came together really, really well. So I really, really liked this one. I think it should be an A because I think it did the story really, really well and different. Uh, I I think that it did everything fantastic. Am I remembering the show wrong? Because for me, it's what? a C. I didn't like the show to be oh. honest with. You. I the animation was not good in the second like the last few episodes because they went back and forth from animated to CGI to the three D animation. Yeah, yeah, I did not like the animation. There was the plot was all over the place. To be honest with you, at least that's what I thought because I didn't really get like you would follow a person and then something would happen and you'd follow someone else and it was very confusing for me at times i it's not a bad show but for me it's a c i didn't particularly like the show i thought i'd like it more for being a big show but for me it was just i don't know it's just not my type of show i remember like what it. i remember and, and, any I rebuttals tim like any it. any rebuttals my best rebuttal is i think they did each character individually really really well which is hard to do what I I, uh, I think what I what I did really like about the show is that it did what I thought Attack on Titan was gonna do, and it was just like it introduced you to these characters that made you like understand who they were, not like love them or anything, but they introduced mm -hmm. you to these characters and be like, oh okay, so this character is probably gonna survive at least till the end, and then it was like, nope, <laughs> just dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And it was just See, like, oh okay, like so it it's getting they this did person. They a whole backstory in a character, and then like after 10, 15 minutes of learning. Are gone like that, and I'm like, well, what was the point? I don't care if about uh, their backstory if something happens to them. Yeah, I mean, well, it was so trying to apologize. Well, I mean, you learn in the first episode everybody's gonna die except for one person. Yeah, uh, but yeah. the, uh, I mean, the point of it is to humanize everyone before you kill them off. Yeah. So I, that's why. I'm giving I it a B like tier. That. I think it's a good B tier. I like it too, but considering everything that's in A, it's not in A. You could, you, I, you could convince me to put it in A. I don't think I could be convinced to put it in C. Yeah. Wow, is I mean, the first one of three of us disagree on what tier a show should be? I think, though, it's really interesting that it's not like S, F, and C. It's it's just A, B, C. A, B, C. So yeah. it's, it's really mean, just we, like... We all like anime so much that we don't want to put a hate on it but we also know that there's a like the master class of ones i think no. i would have liked it more mm -hmm. if it wasn't the sh like short because it was only 12 episodes and so yeah. it felt like everything was kind of rushed to get it done super quickly and again the, the animation towards the last three or four episodes where it switched from 3D to CGI or whatever really was trippy and I did not like. So if that wasn't for that, I I would be okay if Tim saying it was an A tier. I'm cool that B tier, but I don't. Maybe maybe Tim and I just saw it differently. But I actually I liked it that it was a little bit rushed because it, it's just that kind of show where it was where it didn't 
make you care about it the characters overstay. enough that it should have that you should have had all that character building it was the kind of thing that was like all right well we got to fill out 12 episodes so we won't just kill them off but it actually felt pretty polished to me but yeah, i agree different person i think you'll watch a different show polish. i don't now, know because you say that though but the, here's the thing they did they did backstory on like two characters for about two or three episodes like where it was like there was actually backstory for two or three and i enjoyed that but at the beginning when it was like a character a episode i did not enjoy that because i was like well what was the point of me showing them their backstory if you're just going to do that like you have time to connect to this character but they did that later which was okay that's why i said i think it would if it was like 16 i think i would have been okay with it but it wasn't it you was wanna, i think it would have overstayed it well from that 16 maybe maybe i don't know it just didn't give me time to connect to the characters and i their their deaths didn't mean anything to me yeah. i want their deaths to mean something to me i mean i kind of liked that that was different because it was different for the sake of being different however if you thought that was the biggest disagreement we're gonna have you were dead wrong <laughs> Uh -oh. Because Wrong. the next show, your lie in April. Oh no! Uh -oh. Now here's the thing. Wait, wait. Don't don't do it. Here's the thing. Come here. Come come closer. Come closer. You got close. I'm really close. I'm close as I can be. I didn't like this show. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, I didn't really like it. It was okay. That's understood. It's actually it was right. Everyone's like, oh, my gosh, it was so sad. I can't believe I'm sad. It's just like, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I don't yeah. Yeah. You're totally valid. I'm not going to hate on you for it. You know what? I'm surprised <laughs> by this. I'm... I can't hate on you for it, but I I'll get to it when I get to it. Yeah. So. What would you rank it? That's what I need I'll, to know. I'll. I'll, I'll... I'll rank it afterwards. You know what? I'm going to rank it afterwards. Oh. All right, Tim. Tim, you go give, first. Give, give a review for me, Caleb, or do I just go? Go go ahead. Go ahead, Tim. Okay. So the reason I think a lot of people will not like this specifically is because classical music is not for everyone. And that's like a weird thing to say, but I think it's the right thing to say because I highly enjoy classical music. So if there is something where it's classical violin and classical piano. I have a better... Oh, yeah, the music was it. great so, in this show. It, it, well, yeah. It's wonderful. And for me, I remember enjoying this, kind of being confused, but really enjoying it in the end. Uh, because it had whimsical, it had wonder, but it still didn't feel like too much of a magical universe. And so I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I just remember enjoying it. I, here's the thing, boys. Here's the thing, boys. I'm in between you two because I also, I, I, how do I say this? I'm a band kid at heart, so I enjoy the music, and I also like classical music sometimes, like Tim, right? Right. So the music aspect was cool, and some of the story part was cool. However, however, I, ooh, I'm gonna hate this. I, the main character isn't my favorite person in the entire world. At least a total was. And the romance was, well, interesting. So, so I anything else well, to add? Let, let me throw this one thing in is that when I watched this, I also watched at the exact same time another classical music anime. And I'm trying to put the two in separate directions and not do them as the same anime. I think this show is a good show. But I think it gets a little bit overhyped at times. And I, I mean, it is a good show and I, you deserve to overhype it. But also for those who hate it, you are also valid because it is a very certain taste type of crowd anime. So yeah. your lie in April. Why is it called that? The question is... What is the lie that was told in April? And it was so obvious from episode whatever, when one probably, it was just like, I, was I was confused the entire time because I was like, what, what do you mean? What, what, what? 
and then the pre- people who were tell- who were watching it with me, I don't remember who it was. They're like, oh yeah, it's it's your lie in April. Huh? Th- think about the think about the name. Huh? Did think about the name. It yeah, it's a lie. You and I was like, I don't I know. Watch it with any of you. I I think I, like I watched... watched a few episodes with one of you. I don't remember who it was. It I think was I. Me. W- I don't I, remember. I think I watched Your Lie in April with Emily. Really? For some reason. That sounds right. Maybe it was too, because I feel like I remember watching a few episodes at uh, our grandparents' house. Um, I watch a lot of anime randomly at there, so probably me. Well, it was probably you. I watched a few episodes. So, anyway, it's, uh, it, the ro- the romance, it just, like, it just was okay. The main character is just annoying. And like I get a rough childhood, whatever, and that's all sad and everything. It's just not for me. And I want to give it a B tier to make people be not as mad at me, but I'm really feeling a C tier. You know, uh, it's not for everyone. It's it, I I can fully admit that it's not for everyone. This is I'm your so surprised. Anime it's okay. And I respect huh? that. For me, it's a B, barely, but it's a B. But I respect your C tier. Yeah, I can be, I can be persuaded if enough people are upset with this, which there, there will be. It's just uh, we're gonna yeah. probably get some slack it's controversy in April. Yeah, I don't know it. Mm. So that's that was horrifically unfun because none of you got upset. Which is, I, I think the, it's just because it's been so long. Since I, that's a show it's, I saw back like in 2018, so it's been a few a years. Yeah, so, so I need to like go back and rewatch it. If I go back and rewatch it, maybe my opinion will change and I will come back and fight you and be like, actually, you were both wrong and I was wrong. It's an A tier, but until that happens, I don't, I can't remember everything because that was four years ago and I've seen way more anime since then. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of an old anime. Speaking of an old anime that was also unfun, Evangelion. Oof. Um, this is a masterpiece, absolute masterpiece, and I watched. I watched two thirds of it. So, if you wanna comment saying oh, I gotta watch the rest of it, and maybe I watched the wrong one because I heard that there was a right one and a wrong one. Did you watch, watch Neon Genesis Evangelion or just Evangelion? It was Neon Genesis, I believe. Gotcha. Came out in nine. It was the one from ninety eight, I believe. It was on Netflix, and it might still be on. It is still on Netflix, I think. And I, I just, so. it was just so boring. the The voice acting was just really mediocre, and the story was meh. And I just, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> it's supposed to be good, so I think I watched the wrong one. Maybe I did, and let me know in the comments where I I can watch the right one, and I'll add it here. But I have to give it a D tier. It was horrifically oh, unfun. But uh, I don't. I haven't seen the show. I and thought I heard... that picture was a picture of ghost stories this whole time. Oh no! I have been watching ghost story, <laughs> ghost stories. We have been watching ghost stories, and it's hilarious. Well, it's, I haven't finished it yet. It's but. It's a it's a girl with a red coat, a black haired boy with a blue shirt, and a blue haired girl with a white shirt, and those are the three main characters of Ghost Stories. Wait, isn't that yeah. Pokemon? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I, I'm still also just kind of tempted to put it at C tier because because of how unfun uh, Vampire Night was. But you know, I think I'm gonna leave, leave it, it there. Leave it, just there. leave it there. Just leave it. You leave show the controversy. Leave the com. Let the comment <laughs> comment down below if you believe it should be a C tier. All right, all right. Show listen, the case if you believe it should change. Listen, listen. I feel the pushback. Okay, I'm sorry, but I can't. I I can't lie like this. Uh, <laughs> so anime tier list. Another Madoka Magica one. Another Madoka where I have to say it's I was wrong list, again. Caleb, I'm so don't sorry. Let the, don't let anyone tell you differently. I'm so I, I, list. you know what? To make it up to you. To make it up to you. Demon Slayer is next. Demon oh Slayer. Uh-huh. Ooh, Demon Slayer. It's a it's a banger. It it won it won best anime Crunchyroll Awards best anime of the year in 2019, I think. And I was like, dude, what's what's with this show? It's there's no way it's better than whatever show had just come out that year as well. And I don't no remember. Game of Life. 
No, that was 2014. I want to um, say... I can't remember. I remember 20, watching that that year. In 2019, the other... Because sh- I was really into Amino at that point, I believe. And the uh, and the show that had come out that year also might have been free. One of the free... I think maybe the first free season. Maybe that was 2018 and they were both there. Or... Uh, maybe it's promise uh, never. I'm no, find search, that I didn't watch. That's it. what I'm doing right now. Google searching release. Um, um it was 2019. Two hours later. Oh, that's what it would have been. Attack on Attack Titan. On. I think it was. I think it was Attack on Titan season three. But good dear list. Anyway, I didn't understand it. I thought that Attack on Titan definitely should have gotten it because season three. It was season three part one that would have come out. And I thought that was amazing, and it was. Uh, but Demon Slayer gets an S tier for me. Really, really. I, season two, I season have... two is probably an A tier. It really is an A tier. But season one and Mugen Train, S tier. I think me and Joel both agree. I don't. I didn't. I personally didn't get the hype about it. I thought it was really good. I think I would put it at an A, but I just remember being like, this got overhyped for me. We Keep in mind, me and Tim have not seen season two yet, because it's our show we're watching together, but we're also watching another show, so uh, we haven't seen, but we saw season one of Mugen Train. S tier? My S tiers are reserved. I don't think Demon Slayer season one or Mugen Train's an S tier. I, I watched them, and I thought Demon Slayer was an S tier, and it was up. It was... It was just good. Like, that's Demon not to say Slayer's it isn't without faults. It's not to say it's without faults, but I'm giving it an S tier. And part Demon of me Slayer's wants to give part of me wants to give other things that, but no, Demon Slayer's an S tier. You said this is mine. Why Demon an you S-tier. said this is because it's mine. <laughs> you can put S tier, I just want to know why it's S tier. I just really liked it. Season one was really good. And maybe it's not like an S tier. Maybe maybe it's an A tier, but I wanted to give it an S tier because Mugen Train I thought was really good, and uh, season one they did pretty well, and I don't remember all that much about it because I feel like if I go back, then I'll just be like, no, it was an A tier. But I think it was more because I went into it thinking it was going to be awful, and then it blew me away. That that feeling was worth it. Mugen, I will say Mugen Train might be close to an S tier because. Best boy, best boy, sacrificed himself for a good cause, and that did that did make me uh, very sad when that happened. Spoilers. I didn't it's say who it was. I just said best boy. I think. I yeah, think well, well, I mean, it's it pretty does... obvious if you start watching Mugen Train. If yeah. You put that together. I think that it does have a lot of things I do really enjoy about it because it is a show where I feel like everything is important. Like nothing they tell me is not important. I kind of like that because I feel like a lot of times a lot of shows are wasted space. But uh, Demon Slayer really had all the time and, and and thought process about how they wanted to tell the story, and it went really well. Uh, People things in my background. But you know what else is an S tier that we can both agree on? Look at this. We're getting two S tiers in this episode. Wow. Get, or get should we? Uh, miss the first hold one. on. Get the ready for the second one. Two hold in on. one episode? Getting Shit. lucky. Yeah, we'll do two Holy in one God. episode, and then we're gonna we're gonna probably call it at the end of this. Uh, we're gonna have to give one of my favorite shows of all time, Assassination Classroom, an S tier. Yes. 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 It's so good. It is such a ba- and the thing is that like it has two seasons, and both of them are. 24 episodes i think maybe the second one isn't but i think the first one's 24 episodes that it rolls into the second one and you just want to keep on watching it's uh the characters are so great the thing is that it was it was really good and then the only complaint i had at the end was like really juicing the ending like they just were like trying to make it as emotional as possible and that was the one thing i complained to tim about when i first watched it was, was like man they really they really went for it and they just kept going they tried to get every tear out mm-hmm. of me and he was like yeah but it worked right and i was like yeah <laughs> and, <laughs> and so and so it's it's just such an s tier oh it's beautiful it's one I, of the only to... shows ever that's like made me like actually have like a couple of tears like i've had shows that have made me like well up and feel like that but it's the only ones that's made me have like 
a couple tiers. I have to say, because of someone who is now in season four of My Hero Academia, Assassination Classroom is the best version of a classroom anime that I've seen. It involves every single character so well, and I love it so much. And I've heard people say it was just meh, but I know it's an S tier because it did everything so well. Yeah, and oh. I mean, I read or I was listening was to life. one of, um, I think it was a Thomas Sanders video where it was guess the like is is this synopsis a real anime or a fake anime? And they did Assassination Classroom. I was like, wow, that sounds amazing. I'm putting that on my list. And it was amazing. And it, and like Tim was saying, like, you, at the end of the show, like, you know every student's name because you just care about all of them. So, like, most of the times, you know, you remember, if you remember any of them, you remember, like, three. Maybe four yeah. because one... For for some reason or another, but like it's usually like just the main characters and that's it. But like everybody was involved in this in some way. Everyone had their part to play, and it was great. Uh, Wonderful. I can't say anything because I haven't seen it yet, even though I've been recommended it by these two multiple times. But don't worry, I'm starting it in January, so I will have I an opinion hopefully by March or April or May, whenever I finish it of next year. But I'm excited this to watch it. I've already finished it. I'm very. I will be very excited to watch it. I'm super excited for nothing but good things. I'm excited. Yes, yes. Um, and I still can't believe we got two S tiers, a D tier, and like three C tiers this episode. We yeah, really, this, we this really was, varied this episode. Usually, it's just like as you can see, it's a whole bunch of A's and a whole bunch of B's, and then I try to get one s tier in per which I've, I've done but this one's two and then next time we've got hopefully we'll have finished some more shows uh you, have, yeah. you, you don't you'll have some close. shows on here that i've close. seen oh i said that shows on here that seen. i said that i would do death note this episode but it's kind of late and we've all, we've barely got another episode's worth of shows yeah, we'll get it next time. So that's okay, maybe. but then I'll also we'll, we'll get it next time. Like, we'll get it next time. Too, but... Get it next time. I you listen, man. This has been a fun time. Um, you know, we got some controversy and actually some like different opinions this time. I feel like from the three Watch. of us on shows, like there was some good, uh, some good variety. This, this discourse, episode. some discourse. Yep, and a whole bunch of angry people at the. 20 minute mark or whatever being like no How could you no you're wrong no. i can't believe april's it. better i feel like you remember how your last video got a lot of comments on Madoka magica i feel like yep. there's gonna be at least about three or four anime that we put on here i don't think there about. maybe but i don't think there was think a single show gonna get a lot of hate other than that i don't think so everland could go to oh S. yeah other yeah than that, there's not much well i watched that one, 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 and that. I watched them all except for Evangelion, which is probably going to get the most hate because that one I haven't, I didn't actually watch all the way through. I did watch like two thirds of it. Like I forced myself to watch it until I just couldn't take it anymore. I just assumed that I watched the wrong one and will say it's that and then people might agree with me. Yeah, there you go. Then we won't get as mad as comments. But yeah, hey, man, I like it. The yeah. variety's coming. And I also like there's still anime on here that I've seen and probably Tim's seen that you haven't seen. And that excites me. Yep. And then there's shit, more shows that you know I've seen that I haven't seen. Well, thank you both for, for joining me. It's, it's only been a year and a half. Maybe. Hey, man, I've been excited to get quarters. back to it. I've been wanting to do it for only been a year and a half. Long. Now we got to do more tier lists. It just gets me back to the anime. Hype. Yeah, back in back in high. I just gotta watch uh forty more anime. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. No, yes. I gotta watch. I, yes. I, I gotta watch at least a hundred, or else I'm not a true anime fan. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I I think I've seen fifty six or something like that. I'm um, in like the mid forties, mid to high forties, maybe fifties. Yeah, hopefully we'll have finished Hunter Hunter by then. That would be nice. So I could. Probably, I mean, probably one can dream. Up. We might have to. You might get through the rest of whatever season you're on. I just really want to finish season five. 
Yeah. Ye- oh yeah, that's we've still got. If like you power 30, through, still got, like, thirty episodes, forty more episodes, and I just wanted to like, I just want to watch them, but just I'm waiting for you so through. patiently. All right. Well, we have to wrap this up. Okay. It's been an hour, so, and that's not Maybe. counting the fifteen minutes that we spent having computer issues. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave a comment if you agreed or disagreed, because I'm sure you'll leave a comment that you disagreed with at least one, more like two of these. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Bye. Bye.